Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft pixel art tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make Ryuk from Death Note. It's a pixel art that I made a very long time ago, and I am just now making it into a tutorial. So, the blocks that we're going to be needing for this pixel art are as followed. The block of coal, the black wool, the obsidian, the gray wool, the cyan terracotta. I'll get into this in a little bit. The stone block, the light gray wool, the white wool, the snow block, the light blue terracotta, which we kind of rarely use, the light blue wool, the blue wool, the yellow wool, the jack-o'-lantern, the glowstone, and the red wool. And if you guys aren't aware of this yet, there's been a new update to Minecraft where some of the block colors have been changed and there's even been block names that have been changed. Like the clays have been changed to uh, be named terracotta and some of the, well, most of, or every one of the uh, wool colors is a lot brighter. See, the red is a lot brighter. The light blue is a lot brighter. They're no longer faded out. So from here on out, uh, the clay blocks that used to be clays, I'm going to be referring to them as terracottas because apparently that's their official name now after the update. So we're going to fly over here to the, well, I already have this black wool place, but you're, you're going to want to take out the black wool and find a nice large empty space because this pixel art is going to be very large. So find a nice space in your pixel art world you're going to go ahead and put a black wool down there, and it's going to be the very center of it. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and start on the right side of the black wool. Starting on top of this grass block here, what we're going to be doing is counting all the way up to the number 88. Just counting going uh, to the right. So this is going to be one. We never count the center block. It's always starting off with the grass. So this is one, two, three. You might want to pause this video uh, while you're doing this. So that's one, two, three. And you're going to go fly, all, well not fly, but you're going to count all the way up to the number 88. Now I do recommend kind of placing blocks as your numbers, so that's one, two, three, so you can go ahead and count, and you don't miss, uh, I guess, miscount here, because this is very important. So you're going to count all the way up to the number eight, or <laughs> number 88, and once you reach the grass block that's number 88, you're going to break that grass block, and you're going to go ahead and put a placement block there in its place. Again, this is very important that you do this, so go ahead and pause the video now, and to do that, so once you've done that, you're going to fly all the way back over to the center block. And now starting on the left side, we're going to be doing the exact same thing, except it's going to go to the left. So starting on top of this grass block, we're going to count all the way up to the number 88. Again, take your time with this. Maybe even place some blocks and as you're counting to make sure you're keeping count, correct count. So starting from this grass block, count all the way up to the number 88 going to the left. So that's going to be one, two, three counting all the way up to the number 88 and once you hit the number 88 you're going to go ahead and break the grass block that is 88 and put a placement block there in its place so go ahead and pause the video now so you can do that all right so once you've done that what you're going to be doing is starting off with the block of coal so we're going to go ahead and start off with a block of coal and we're going to start on top of the placement block that we just placed here on the left so from there we're going to be placing two block of coals going to the right so that's one two once you've done that, you're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the right. So seven diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. And you might want to use these placement blocks. I've, I don't know how long I've been doing pixel arts on YouTube, but <laughs> I've been very lenient with explaining every single step now. So starting from the, from where we left off here, we're going to be placing seven block of colds going down the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, I recommend using the placement blocks because then when you guys are always asking me in the comment section how come you're one block off, it's usually because you misplaced the block and broke the block that you weren't supposed to break, if that makes any sense. All right, so starting from the bottom block on the right side, we're going to be putting a block of coal there on the right, so we have there. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the right. That's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let me move the mic a bit. Okay, now we're going to be placing, starting from here, now that we, by the way, I'll fly back a bit at times so you can go ahead and see if you're doing everything correctly. Okay, so what we're going to be doing next is placing eight sets of twos going up on the right. Eight sets of twos, so that's one, two, one, one, two, two. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6, 1, 2, 7, and 1, 2, 8. Now, for those of you who are 
probably wondering why I'm going so fast. I'm not going fast at all. Uh, the longtime subscribers already know what terms I use, so this is not long. What I just said, eight sets of twos, that summarizes it. So try your best to keep up. Uh, I'm not going to go into depth in depth with every explanation, but whenever I uh, use these terms, just try to pay attention to what I'm saying, and hopefully you will understand that because I've been <laughs> instructing and trying to explain every single term that I use for a couple of years now, and I'm just going to go ahead and assume you somewhat understand it, or will hopefully understand it. So now, starting from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. Once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the placement block. Put a placement block underneath the right block of the three. So place one block there. Then switch over to the block of coal. Starting on the right side of the placement block, we're going to be adding six blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's head back down, get rid of that placement. And then we're going to head back down here. Now starting from the bottom block of these six, so from here, uh, so from there, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing 17 blocks going down on the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's head back up, get rid of that placement block. And we're going to head back down here. And we're just going to quickly switch over to uh, the, the placement block. And we're going to be adding two placements underneath the 17. So. That's one and two. It should be making contact with the ground like so. Now, once we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the block of coal, starting from the bottom block on the right side of the placement. So from there, we're going to be adding eight block of coals going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's head back down, get rid of the placement blocks. We're going to head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing five blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Head back down, get rid of the placements. There we go. And now we're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Again, guys, for those who are brand new to the channel, that's not me going fast. That's just me using a shortcut, pretty much abbreviating on what we're going to be doing. So I said three sets of twos. So there's two of these threes. So that's one, two, three, and one, two, three. There's two threes, which makes this two sets of threes. All right, now we're going to be placing uh, from here two blocks going diagonal up to the right, so two diagonal. That's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing th from this block. We're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal. Uh, let's see, is it three? Yeah, three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of the placements, so it should look exactly like this. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing five blocks going, or not just five, we're going to be placing six blocks, six, going diagonal down to the right, so six blocks, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements, head back down here, and we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And I'll place one block going down to the right. That's one, and it should be making contact with the ground, like this. So now we're going to fly back up here, going back to uh, the two black wool, or not the black wool, but the two block of coals that we had going diagonal up to the right. So let's go t to this block here. And I said black wool because we're going to be switching over to the black wool now. So let's switch over to the black wool, and we're going to start from this one block of coal here. And from it, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right with black wool. So that's one, two, three. It should look like this. Once you've done that, we're going to be placing one black wool on top of the left block of these three. So place one black wool there. Next, we're going to head back over here to the right, going back to the 
three across. So from here, we're going to be placing three black walls going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray wall. And now starting from the right block of these three, so starting from here, we're going to be placing five gray walls going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And from here, we're going to be switching back over to the block of coal. And with the block of coal, we're going to start underneath the gray walls. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two block of coals going down. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal down to the right. So six diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And from here, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now. We'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now, remember, guys, if the video is going a little too fast for you, make sure to hit the pause button. You don't want to fall behind. Alright, so what we're going to be doing next is we're going to head back over here, going back to that one gray wall that we started from. Underneath it, we had the two block of coals. What we're going to be, do uh, what we're going to be doing from here is starting on the right side now. So starting from there, uh, we're just going to be adding from there, uh, well, we're not going to be adding ten, 10 block of coals. Whoops. We're going to be switching over to the black wall first. There we go. Now with the black wall starting on the right side of this gray wall. So from there, we're going to be placing 10 black walls going diagonal down to the Oops, down to the right. Ten diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's ten blocks that went diagonal down to the right. So let's get rid of the placements. Head back down here. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now place two sets of threes going across onto the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's get rid of those placements. Head over here to the right. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to be placing six blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Very simple and easy. And while we're here, let's go ahead and switch over to the gray wall. And we're going to be filling in this empty space right here, staying within the outline. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in with gray wool. Might as well add some early color to the pixel art. Especially since Ryuk is mainly just made out of... Uh, black and gray really with a little dark bluish light bluish here and there especially when it comes to his hair so let's just go ahead and just fill this area right here with the gray wall okay there we go so, so it should look like that now what we're going to be doing next is uh we could also I, I suppose switch over to the block of coal yeah and we're also going to be filling in this single empty space that's right here staying within the block of coal outline Go ahead and fill this area here with a block of coal so we can get some uh, early color, early filling in sections done. Although this pixel art really requires uh, for me to do some time lapses here and there when it comes to the filling in parts, but that's. Uh, I think we'll get to that in like part two or so. Alright, right now let's just try to focus on the outlines after we're done filling this in. Again with a block of coal. And. There we go. Alright, so once you're done filling that area in with the block of coal, we're going to be staying with the block of coal, and we're going to head back up here, back to where we placed that one black wall on top of the left block of these three black wools. Uh, we're going to start on top of this one black wall. So starting from there, 
we're going to be uh, adding on to it, going up to the right, we're going to be placing six sets, or not six sets, well yeah, six sets of twos. So starting from here, add six sets of twos going up on the right from it. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, and one, two, six. That's six sets of twos. So let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks now. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So four diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And what we're going to be doing from here is placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And once we've done that, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block. Now with the placement block starting underneath this one block of coal, so from there, we're going to be adding three placements going down. So that's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching over to the block of coal. Now with the block of coal starting underneath the three placements, so from there, we're going to be adding four uh, block of coals going to the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. Set up and get rid of the placements. Well, let's head back down here and we're just going to switch over to the placement block. Put a placement block underneath the right block of the four. So put one there and switch over to the block of coal. Add one block of or had one block of coal on the left side. So that's one. Break that. And now from here, we're going to be adding another block of coal going down to the left. That's one. Now, starting from this one block, we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And once we've done that, we're gonna be switching back over to the placement block and we're gonna be putting a placement block underneath the right block of the five. So put one placement block there and switch back over to the block of coal, place one block of coal on the left side of the placement. So that's one. And now starting underneath the placement block. So from there, we're gonna be adding three block of coals going down. So that's one, two, and three. Let's head back up and get rid of that placement block. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next from here is we're just going to leave this area alone for now. Uh, we're going to head back up here, going to go all the way back up to the left, and we're going to go back to this one block of coal. So going back to here, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the light blue terracotta, because I'm going to be forced to call it terracotta now just so everyone is up to date, instead of the clay block. But going back over to the light blue terracotta, we're going to be placing one block there on the left, so that's one. Now we're going to be switching over to the block of coal and place one block of coal on the left side, so that's one. And now starting on top of the light blue, so from there, the terracotta, we're going to be adding from here just two blocks going up, so that's one and two. Next, we're going to head back down here. Now, starting underneath the light blue terracotta, so from there, we're going to be adding, with the block of coals, three blocks going diagonal down to the... Whoops. Down to the right. So starting underneath it, three blocks diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the gray wool for just a second. And underneath the block of coal here that we just placed, we're going to be adding two gray wools going down. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, we're also going to be filling in this small empty space right here with the gray wool. Let's fill this in with gray. And now let's head back down here. And we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. So now with the black wool, let's head back to this very same block of coal that we placed those two gray wools underneath. We're going to start from the left side of it. So starting from there, we're going to be adding four blocks going diagonal down to the Oops, down to the left from it. So that's one, starting from there, that's one. Black wool, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here. Now from here, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. 
And now we're going to be placing four blocks going down the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. And once you've done that, we're going to be placing another four blocks going down the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now place six blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And once we've done that, we're going to quickly switch over to the block of coal. Just this is going to be av to avoid any confusion. We're going to be filling in this empty space right here underneath the black wool with the block of coal. So just fill this in with block of coal. Now, once you've done that, we're going to head up here just a bit. And I want you to fill in this specific area right here. Fill this in with the block of coal. Now, once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the black wool. And with the black wool, you see that we have these two smaller empty spaces over here to the left. We're going to be filling in those two empty spaces with the black wool. So fill those in with black. And it should look like that. Next, we're going to switch over to the block of coal. And with the block of coal, we're going to be filling in this area right here, this empty space, with the block of coal. Same within the outline, of course. So let's go ahead and do that now. Just fill all of this in with the block of coal. There we go. A little fun fact, usually the beginning tutorials for part ones of everything used to take long, and only because I used to explain almost everything, I guess, to potential new subscribers. But uh, I feel like the new subscribers will be smart enough to understand the terms that I use in these new tutorials, so that's why I'm not really doing it, uh, exp explaining so much. Okay. So now what we're going to be doing is switching back over to the block of coal. Now with the block of coal, let's head back to this area right here. We had these six block of coals that went up. So we're going to start from this block right here. And with the block of coal, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up. And from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now two blocks going up on the right. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And before we move on, let's quickly switch over to the uh, light blue terracotta. And we're going to be placing two light blues going across on top of these two blocks of coal. So that's one and two. Now starting on top of the right block of these two, so from there we're going to be adding two blocks going up. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. And it should look exactly like this. Now that we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the block of coal. Let's head back down here where we left off with the, the two block of coal. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Get rid of that placement. And now we're going to start underneath the middle block of these three. So underneath the three blocks, we're going to start underneath the middle block, which is right there. And we're going to be placing two blocks going down. Just put one and two. And then we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. And it should be making contact with these other two block of coals that we had here that went on top of that light blue terracotta. So I'm going to fly back a bit. And you can see that everything should look exactly like this. So what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the black wool, and with the black wool, we're going to be filling in this remaining empty space that's right here. Fill all of this right here with just the black wool. So let's go ahead and do that now, staying within the outline, of course. Pretty much filling this in as if we were filling in a coloring book. Never cross the outlines, even though sometimes I used to. Sometimes I used to uh, actually trace over the outline with a darker color. Or the same color, but just made it darker. Alright. Now, once we're done filling it in, it should look like this. 
All right, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the block of coal. Uh, so switch back over to the block of coal. And we're going to head back up here to that one light blue terracotta, starting on top of it. So from there, we're going to be adding two block of coals to the right. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those placements. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing eight blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's head back over here. Get rid of that placement. And now we're going to head back down here, back to the two block of coals that we had here. We're going to quickly switch over to the gray wool. And on the left side of these two coals, we're going to be adding two grays going to the left. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, we're going to be adding one gray on top of the right block of these two. So just add one gray there on top of it. And now heading back over here to the left block of these two grays. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the, down to the left. So two diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those placements. Then we're going to head back up here. We're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here to the right. Fill this in with a gray wool. Fill that in. Now we're going to switch over to the block of coal, and with the block of coal, let's head back up here. Let's go back to this one gray wool that we placed on top of these two gray wool. So this, this is the one gray wool here. We're going to start on the left side of it, so from there, we're going to be adding two block of coals going to the left. That's one and two. Now once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool. So let's switch over to the black wool now. And we're going to start on the left side of these two block of coal. So we're going to start from there. We're going to be placing nine blocks going diagonal down to the left. So nine diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And nine. There we go, nine. And make sure we started right next to it. We didn't start from it, but we started next to it. In other words, we added to it. See, it should be like that, making contact. Now, continuing on with the black wool, we're going to be placing five sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going down the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing, after these three, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Again, guys, if it's if it's still going a little too fast for you, make sure to hit the pause button. Don't uh, try to keep, keep up with this pace if it's a little too fast for you. Uh, and of course, I'm talking to the new subscribers or potential new subscribers, not the long-time subscribers. All right, so from here now, what we're going to be doing is placing two sets of threes going down on the left. That's one, two, three, one. And one, two, three, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And then we're going to head back down here. Now, from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going down the left. That's one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four. Let's head back up. Get rid of that placement block. And then once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the block of coal. And with the block of coal, starting from the bottom block on the left side of these uh, four, so starting from there, we're going to be adding six block of coals going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing eight blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to be placing five blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Head back down, get rid of that placement block. And now we're going to quickly switch over to the black wool just for a sec. Let's head back down here. And we're going to be filling in this empty space right here with the black wool. This is just to avoid any confusion in the future. So just fill that in with black wool. Now let's head back up here, and we're going to switch back over to the block of coal. So have the block of coal in your hand. Now from up here, starting from where you left off, we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. 
That's one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to be placing three sets of threes going up on the right. That's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, and one, two, three, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Let's head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements now. We're going to head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to switch over to the black wall. Now with the black wall starting from this one block of gold, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Now, once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the block of coal. And we're just going to be placing one block of coal on top of the black wall. Let's just put one block of coal there. So it looks like that. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool again. Now, on the left side of this block of coal, so from there, we're going to be placing two black wools going to the left. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Now that we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the block of coal. So switch over to the block of coal. Now starting underneath the left block of these two black walls. So starting from there, we're going to be adding 10 blocks going diagonal down to the left. So 10 diagonal down to the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I said 10. Whoops. There we go. 10. My bad. I was overcounting there. It, that's 10. 10. So that's, let's recount it. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. That's a total of 10 block of coals. I started adding additional ones by accident. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And again, make sure it's 10 block of coals. And we did start underneath the left block of those two black holes there. All right, so let's head back down here. Now, from here, we're going to be placing two block of coals going down on the left. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Now, once we've done that, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back down here. Now from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Now this next part is very important. What you're going to be doing is uh, you're going to align yourself up with the, uh, your character with the one block of coal that we just placed here going down to the left. And you're going to look straight down. And then you just fall. Don't move. Don't move to the left. Don't move to the right. Don't move anywhere. Just fall. Just free fall straight down. And if you've landed on the very first block that we just placed here, that means you're doing everything correctly so far. That means everything is perfectly aligned and uh, we don't have to worry about anything. Although, for whatever reason, for some of you, if it's not uh, aligning up, I recommend looking at the second screen, possibly figuring out where you may have gone wrong, or just uh, looking back... Uh, just a little bit and maybe you might catch your mistake but yes this block should be aligned up with the very first block that we placed all right now what we're going to be doing next is just quickly switching over to the black wool starting on top of the uh black uh block of coal here with the black wool we're going to be adding three black wools going up so that's one two three now let's switch back over to the block of coal starting on top of the three black wools that we just placed so from there we're going to be adding three block of coals going up so that's one two three now, once you've done that, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two. That's three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. Now, from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. 
Now from this one block, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing eight blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks now. Let's head back up here. And now from here, we're going to switch over to the black wall for just a sec. And with the black wall, which let's, here we go. <laughs> With a black wool, we're going to be placing one block on top of this block of coal, so that's one black wool. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Now, starting from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the right. So seven diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And we're going to head back up here. Now from here, we're going to switch over to the block of coal. Now with the block of coal starting on the right side of this black wall here, so from there, we're going to be adding five block of coals going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, starting on top of the right block of these three, so from there, we're going to be placing one block of coal, so that's one. And from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing a linked five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's a linked, so it's connected. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Again, for those new timers here, new people... Uh, that's what a linked looks like. It's always connected to the last block that we place. So that's a linked five. So it should look exactly like this. It's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And from here, what we're going to be doing is placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Now, once you've done that, we've made contact with this one black wool here. You can see this one black wool is making contact with that one block of coal that we just placed. We're going to start underneath this. So underneath it, so from right there, we're just going to be adding one block of coal. So that's one. So it should look exactly like this. A little difficult to see. There you go. Now from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like this. Now, once you've done that, you're going to quickly switch over to the gray wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here. Fill this in with the gray wool. Fill that right up. There we go. And now let's switch back over to the block of coal. Let's head back down here, back to these three that we just placed down here. And from here, we're just going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Now, once you've done that, switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on the right side of these a two place or of these two blocks of coals just put one placement block there and now switch over to the block of coal starting underneath the placement we're going to be adding four blocks going to the left so that's one two three and four let's get rid of that now once you've done that starting on the left side of these four so from there we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left so that's one two three once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Now, starting from this one block, we're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So seven blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's fly over here and get rid of that placement block. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing five blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of that. 
And once we've done that, we're just going to quickly switch over to a placement block, put a placement block underneath the right block of the five block of gold, so put one placement block there. Then switch back over to the block of gold, starting on the left side of the placement. So from there, we're going to be adding three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back over here. And to close this off, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Get rid of that placement block. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, go ahead and pause the video if you need to, just to compare. Again, make sure to also pause it if it's going a little too fast for you. Alright, so what we're going to be doing next is uh, going to try to do one more outline, and then we're going to be doing this filling in section. Uh, we're going to switch over to the black wall for this next part. So switch over to the black wall, and we're going to head all the way back up here, back to the area that we filled in with the gray wall. We're going to go over here, and we're going to find this one block of coal that's sticking out all the way over here to the left. We're going to start underneath that block of coal. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So starting underneath it, so that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And again, this is with black wool that we're using the outline for. All right, so once we you done that what we're gonna be doing next is placing one block going down to the left that's one next we're gonna be placing from here is two blocks going across on the lower level to the left that's one two and now we're gonna be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left so two diagonal that's one and two so that's two diagonal uh, and now that we have these two here, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. Get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal down to the left. So seven diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Head back down here. And we're going to switch over to a placement block, in fact. And we're just going to be adding one placement block underneath this black wall of the seven. So just add one placement block there. Then you're going to be switching over to the black wool, starting on the left side of this placement block. So starting from there, we're going to be adding 12 black wools going up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 black wools. Let's head back down here, get rid of that placement block. And what you're going to be doing is kind of like doing the same thing we did earlier. Just line yourself up with the black wool outline, the 12 black wool outlines that we did. And make sure it's aligned up with the... Uh, furthest blocks to the left over here so you can see that it's lined up with this which means we're doing everything correctly so far and I just want uh, also to point out before we start this time-lapse thing that you see that we didn't place any outlines here you see that here we're gonna be filling in these areas but uh, in other words use your imagination here we go there's always gonna be this is the border line I guess you could say uh, you don't you don't have to place this. I'm just I'm just uh, doing this as a demonstration. But use your imagination that there's an invisible line here. So we're gonna call this an empty space. You see this here? This is technically an empty space, but uh, without the placement blocks. So just you know use your imagination. We're not gonna be placing any further uh, over here to the left. We're not gonna be placing any more blocks to the left. So just letting you know that. Because what what I, why I'm saying that is because we're going to be uh, filling in some areas now with the block of coal and the black wool. So first off, we're gonna try to do this with the block of coal to avoid any confusion. So starting off with the block of coal, there's only one large space that you have to fill. Well, I guess two technically, two large spaces that you're gonna be filling in with the block of coal. I need you to pay close attention to this uh, so you don't accidentally fill in any others that you don't need. All right, this empty space right here, you can see that this is one single large empty space thing within the block of coal. It loops down here, and then it comes back up here. So this is still part of that large empty space that goes all the way up here. 
you're going to be filling this in with the block of coal, making sure you stay within the outline. Then once you've done that, you're going to head up here and you're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the block of coal. Again, staying within the outline. Don't cross over it. And then once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the black wool and the remaining empty space is right here. It kind of looks like a upside down V shape, kind of like fangs or claws. This area right here gets filled in. This kind of long fangs get filled in with the black wool. And I just want to address this now. Flying down here, nothing gets filled in here. This never gets filled in. This is an empty space, a gap. Same thing goes for this area. Nothing gets filled in with that. That's a gap. And same thing goes for that area. Nothing gets filled in. That's a gap. So again, make sure to fill those in. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this. If you still feel a little unsure, just wait until you see me fast forward filling this in. So go ahead and do that now. Just fill these areas in with the black wool and the block of coal. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue my Ryuk from Death Note Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial in the next part. And I just want to let everybody know that I am live streaming on YouTube. So you might want to check those out. I usually live stream over the weekends. So uh, if you guys ever want to stop by and say hi, perhaps even leave a Minecraft Pixel Art request in the chat, that'd be awesome. And before I go, I also want to give a quick shout out to my gamer tag. If you guys are on Xbox One, my gamer tag is Felix Guaman YT. Go ahead and look me up. And also, if you're on Xbox, I have an Xbox club dedicated to pixel arts. It's the best place for me to check out all of your pixel arts. Pixel arts that you have completed from my tutorials, from other people's tutorials, or pixel arts that you've created all on your own. It's the best place for me to check them out. You can go ahead and post them there. You can follow and also request to be a club member. So, with all of that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Ryuk pixel art tutorial, and make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.